Hello there. Dr. Bill Crawford here, psychologist, speaker, author of eight books, host of two PBS specials. Here again to bring you another tip on how to help you create the life you want. Specifically, how to use my life from the top of the mind philosophy to bring more clarity, confidence, creativity into everything you do. Today I want to use a quote. I have this service, by the way, that's free. If you want to get on it, it's free. Every week I send out one of my favorite quotes along with two or three paragraphs about how to apply that quote to life. If you would like to receive one of my favorite quotes each week and a couple of comments about how to apply it to life, just go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com or just Google Bill Crawford PhD. I'll come up on the first page. Hit the subscribe button, put your name, email address in, and each week I will send you one of these quotes. This quote is by Neil Walsh. And it talks about the difference between how we live our life. He says, a life lived by choice is a life of conscious action. Whereas a life lived by chance is a life of unconscious reaction. I really like that quote because I think it speaks so clearly about the difference between a life lived purposefully or just kind of finding ourselves kind of reacting to whoever, whatever happens to chance into our life. And for those of you who follow my life from the top of the mind philosophy, you know that this life of conscious actions versus unconscious reactions actually comes from very specific parts of the brain, a very conscious part of the brain and an unconscious part of the brain. So the middle brain limbic system uh, and brain stem, the middle brain, what I call the lower 20% of the brain, that is the unconscious part of the brain, it means it kind of interacts with our life, kind of makes decisions in some ways that are outside of our awareness and often outside of our influence. Which is great, by the way. Anytime we need to react in a fight or flight situation without thinking, we want this lower brain to kick in. And even when things are going well, you know, it regulates blood pressure, muscle tension, heart rate, breathing. So we don't have to think about each one of those. If we had to consciously think about each one of those, we would be overwhelmed. The problem comes when this middle brain which isn't very smart and is working with old software, has a tendency to interpret, really misinterpret, something negative as dangerous. And it throws us into that lower brain, which is designed to deal with danger. This is where we get angry, stressed, frustrated, resentful, anxious, overwhelmed, depressed, etc. So in order to become more influential in our experience of life, we've got to do two things. Number one, we've got to be willing to look at this reaction and determine whether it's something we want to feed, something we want to trust. That comes from the conscious brain. So we notice our stress, our frustration, our anger, our resentment, our depression, and we ask the question, okay, is this something that I want to trust, to feed? Do I want to use these qualities or characteristics to deal with whatever situation I'm dealing with? And if the answer is no, then we say, okay, well, what if I were able to access our clarity, my clarity, confidence, and creativity. Is this something I would like to trust? Is this something I would recommend to someone I love? So once we determine that we really want to be more clear, confident, and creative versus stressed, angry, frustrated, and resentful, then we've got to be willing to imagine, okay, well, what would that look like? If I were dealing with this situation from this clear, confident, creative part of who I am versus this angry, stressed, frustrated, resentful, anxious part of who I am, what would I be doing differently? You know, what would my um, what would my body language be like? What would my tone of voice be like? So we've got to be able to imagine doing that. The more we do that, the more we begin to allow ourselves to understand when we get triggered, we can actually influence that so we don't find ourselves caught in what I call a cycle of stress, frustration, anxiety, where we just get more and more and more stress until something explodes. Then what I suggest we do is to front load how we live our life. What if we were willing, willing to go into life, go into the morning, go into the afternoon, go into the evening, go into situations already clear about who we are when we're coming from this conscious part of the brain. We've chosen qualities like clarity, confidence, creativity, compassion as the best of who we are. And we're bringing those qualities and characteristics into the situation. So we're not reacting to the situation by chance. We are responding in a very purposeful, a chosen way that allows us to then go into a situation in the top of the mind. Then if we get triggered, we actually don't go all the way down to the brainstem. See, if we go into the situation neutral or worried or stressed or frustrated and we get triggered, it's real easy to get trapped in that lower brain. But if we go in in the top of the mind, even if we get triggered, because we are purposeful and conscious, we kind of know what's happening and we're able to shift back up to that clear, confident, creative part of who we are pretty easily. So here's the deal. 
unless we start making purposeful choices about how we live our life, our life and our choices will be made for us by this unconscious part of the brain based on whatever chance encounter we have. That might make some sense. That's kind of the bad news. <laughs> Here's the good news. If we'll start practicing making these purposeful choices, determining whether we want to feed or trust this old uh, reactive brain, and if not choosing qualities and characteristics we do want to feed or trust, and practice going into situations already clear about who we are, starting the morning that way, rebooting around lunchtime, going into the afternoon that way, going into the evening that way, going into meetings that way, going into encounters that way. If we'll start practicing that, guess what? Anything we practice, we get good at because practice actually is rewiring the brain. We'll start creating new neural pathways going from this middle brain to the upper 80% of the brain, the top of the mind, and this starts to become our new habit. So if we're willing to do it long enough and intentionally enough and purposefully enough, pretty soon, this new way of being starts to become a new habit. So now our unconscious reactions are now congruent with our conscious choices because we have programmed them to be that way. We have purposefully chosen how we want to be and who we want to be. And if we've done that so often, we've rewired the brain. This is what I teach. I get to go around the world teaching people, using my life from the top of the mind philosophy. I get to go around to organizations and schools and talk with individuals about how to actually understand how we find ourselves reacting and how to influence that by coming from this more purposeful, clear, confident, creative part of who we are. And how to engage others who may be resistant to what we're saying, upset with us for some reason. So we get them to shift from their resistant brain to their receptive brain. If you would like me to come and do this for your organization, all you got to do is go to my website, BillCrawfordPhD.com, hit the contact button, let me know what you're interested in. Love to talk with you about that. By the way, the good news is the book is now on Audible. It's taken to be about a year and a half to read this book. I thought I needed to read it myself because it needed to be in my own voice because I, I write the book in the first person. So when I say I, it's really got to be me talking. But boy, was that hard. But it is now on Audible. So for those of you who like to listen versus read, you can do that as well. My hope is this is helpful. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you do, please hit the like button. You know how Facebook and Pinterest and Litter, uh, Twitter and, uh, and YouTube love it when you like it. Um, you can get it on iTunes. You can subscribe on Twitter, any of that social media. Share it with your friends if you feel this will be valuable. So what I want to do is help people access the best of who they are and rewire the brain so that that access starts to become the new habit, so that our conscious and unconscious perspective starts to become a new way of life. Again, if you'd like me to come and do this for your organization, your school, you as an individual, let me know. Otherwise, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the future. I'm looking forward to continuing bringing these videos to you. So until next time, here is to you. Bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity into everything you do. And I look forward to seeing you in the future.